So as many people find themselves COVID testing at home, how accurate are they? Good evening, everyone. I'm Ken McLeod. One Norwood family has discovered the hard way they're not foolproof. And as WBZ's Julie McDonald reports, experts say the at-home tests are a tool, not a guarantee. It was a responsible thing to do. And if you had the test, why not? So I was like, hey, I'll feel safer. But Sophie Ritchie learned the hard way she unfortunately was not safer, nor were her party guests, despite multiple rapid home tests in the days leading up to Christmas. I basically took over the course of those days four tests. I then woke up the day after Christmas so sick, like achy, fever, everything. And I took a test on that day as well, and it was negative. The Food and Drug Administration said this week that these rapid home tests that many have been scrambling to find are more likely to give a false negative with the heavily mutated Omicron variant. The tests are still worthwhile. Don't let anybody think that the FDA was saying the tests are no longer good. They say they're less sensitive now. They never were 100% sensitive. The antigen tests. Everybody knew that. But the at home antigen tests are faster and cheaper than the gold standard PCR, an easy option for some peace of mind. You do the right thing, you test, you do everything you're supposed to do, and then you still expose everyone. Considering that majority of them are high risk, not good. Richie finally tested positive Monday after a long wait at urgent care. She did feel sickest that day, and that rapid swabbed deeper into her nose. Julie McDonald, WBZ News.